Hello, hello, my friends. How are you today? I'm doing well. Uh, out here trucking, in case you were wondering what I was up to. <laughs> in case you were wondering what I was doing. I still got myself locked up in this truck where I just sit here and think about stuff. And that's super fun, isn't it? So anyways, today, guys, today, guys, we're going to talk about something super fun. Because it's been a long time since I've hung out in a truck stop bar. And after I did my last live stream, I decided to go over and uh, hang out. I never sit at the bar. I always sit kind of back away from it. Because... I don't really want to sit there and, this is going to sound really bad, uh, talk to truckers. What are we going to talk about? Backing into a dock? That's super exciting. What are you going to tell me? That the load you're on is going to Mississippi? I don't know how to tell you this, my friends, but I don't really give a fuck. I don't care about all of that. But I do like to sit back away from the bar and listen to angry, angry truckers. I was going to say angry old truckers, but I'm an old trucker at this point. Uh, so I can't do that because why would I want to make fun of me? That's no fun. Uh, but uh, just angry truckers sitting there and saying angry trucker shit. And that's always been one of my favorite things to do in trucking. And I finally got the chance to do it again. Uh, so we're definitely going to talk about that. Before that, um, just wanted to say thank you to everyone uh, that su subscribes and comments most of the comments not all of the comments some of you fucking bother me um and, and you know helps this channel grow i know i'm on a little bit of a uh, a mission let's say a quest to uh, get this channel to 10,000 subscribers so i don't normally ask for subscribers but i told you guys i was going to annoy the shit out of you until we hit 10,000 because we are on our way now um and uh so if you're watching push the goddamn button. What's the fucking problem here? What do we need to do to get you to push the fucking button? I don't understand. But thank you guys. I appreciate you all so much. Um, is there anything else going on in my world? Not really. I'm just fucking, they're, they're running me. They're running me over here, which is good. That's an absolutely good thing, but I'm not really, I guess I'm getting back in the swing of it. I didn't expect in my first week to come out here with a new company, finish orientation, and then kick out 3,000 miles right off the fucking bat. But that's okay. I'm not completely Complaining. I'm just a little bit, a little bit tired now. I'm like, fuck, okay. I got, you know, kind of a short day today and then I can run tomorrow kind of short and, you know, <clears throat> maybe get my old ass some naps on the way. We'll see how it all goes. I might take a nap after I record this. I'm not really sure. Uh, so anyways, uh, um, oh, let me apologize real quick because I keep fucking up my B-roll. Sorry, guys. I keep, I, w I get in a hurry to get the video out and then I will accidentally put the same b-roll in a video twice sometimes three times apparently so i apologize for being a dumb fuck uh but sometimes uh, well what do you expect look at me do i look like an intelligent man i don't think so uh so anyways let me apologize for that so anyways let's get to the damn point i was at a truck stop bar right and like i said i always like to kind of hang back and i like to i think it's it's somewhat magical if i'm being honest with you these guys come in they haven't talked to anyone for days and they make friends i'm not talking shit about that i actually think it's kind of cool they, they they found someone to bond with and and become friends and i think that's pretty goddamn interesting so these these three truckers are sitting up at the bar right and uh they're just uh eating their food drinking their beers oh don't say beers to the truckers on the internet he drinks beer when he's off work somebody call his safety department we need to figure out what all the beer drinking when he's off work is about because i don't think a guy should drink beer it's a it's a real thing here on youtube i don't fucking know why um but anyways i i witnessed a sin my friends i witnessed truck drivers drinking beer while they were off work don't worry i'm not gonna rat them out uh because i think they're grown men and they should enjoy their free time but what the fuck do i know anyways uh they slowly started to make conversation right as they were you know getting there one guy got ribs and the other guy was like hey man let me have a look at your ribs because applebee's gives you little tiny ribs and I don't want little tiny ribs so can I look at your ribs and I was like well that's cute that's pretty adorable actually he's like let me check out your ribs and he's like fuck yeah you can check my ribs out baby and uh he he was satisfied with what he saw and he ordered the ribs too and that's really the the true spirit of trucking is truckers helping truckers out here right so we got to the bottom of the rib situation everyone was happy and there were three TVs in front of us right at the bar and they always have sports on in these these bars 
cars, which is cool because it's almost football season. Um, actually, preseason's over, baby, and Denver Broncos might not be losers all the time this year, and that makes me kind of fucking excited. They might not lose all the fucking games this year. Congratulations, Denver Broncos, preseason champions, baby. How you like that? How you like that? Hey, hey, when you're a Denver Broncos fan. <laughs> Preseason wins are cool, I guess. That's sometimes all we can ask for. So, anyways, uh, they had a bunch of sports stuff on the TV, and uh, some basketball highlights were on, right? When LeBron James was up on the screen. And boy, these boys didn't like LeBron James, not one fucking bit. Oh, they started talking shit about LeBron James. That LeBron James ain't shit, man. I don't even know why people give a fuck about LeBron James. He ain't shit. Which I understand, right? When you're a famous uh, sports figure, it's easy for a guy to sit back and armchair quarterback all of that and be like, that guy ain't shit. But lebron james ain't shit i mean look i'm not much of a basketball fan my friends i'm really not i don't really care for basketball but i don't think that lebron james ain't shit i know he's not the greatest of all time in my limited knowledge of basketball i think that title belongs to uh michael jordan i believe you guys can correct me if i'm wrong but i think i think that's the goat of basketball michael jordan but lebron He's no scrub, that's for damn sure, right? He's, he's, from what I understand, pretty fucking good. Uh, does some charity stuff too, which is nice of him. You know, seems like all around probably a pretty decent guy, right? Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, not like the GOAT. I, I know more about football, if I'm being honest with you. And the greatest of all time in football is, of course, John Elway. Wait, that's kind of a fucking biased opinion now, isn't it? I guess that would probably go to... Uh, Tom Brady. Yeah, I hate to say it as a Denver Broncos fan, but Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah, even even better than uh, Joe Montana. Uh, yeah, sorry if that upset anyone. I know Kansas City Chiefs fans are crying right now. What about Patrick Mahomes? Patrick Mahomes will never be the greatest of anything because he's too much of a whiny bitch that no one gives a fuck. He starts yelling at refs, give me the flag I want, and he fucking cries way too much. See what I was saying about how it's easy to armchair quarterback sports figures? I get it, right? I understand. Um... But uh, uh, they were they were real pissed off at LeBron, which is fine, right? But it was actually a really cool conversation to watch. It was something I needed because you guys know that sometimes I have a tendency to drive myself fucking crazy. And sometimes you guys get real grumpy with me in the comments. Oh, wait, shit, I'm doing it again where I acknowledge my comments. I'm too famous to look at my comment section, assholes. I'm too famous. Why are you bothering me with comments, peasants? I don't know why people tell me I can't look at my comment section. I have no fucking clue. And they say it in my comment section. So if I was following their advice, I would never know that I was following their advice. And they would never know either because you would just be saying it into the void. Why do you guys tell me not to read my comments? What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> Anyways, um, it was. you guys know that I drive myself crazy sometimes because I'm just over here making my videos. I'm harming no one. I'm just minding my fucking business. And I can't help that I am a strapping, handsome young man that is extremely fucking hilarious. I don't, I don't think that's a reason to be envious of me. And it's just the way the chips fell you know the good news for everyone else out there i'm kind of short right i couldn't be tall good looking and funny because that would just be fucking unfair to everyone <laughs> there's people just blowing a fucking gasket right now because i said all that anyways um what i'm trying to say is it was a perspective that i really really needed to see because on a daily basis when i'm just over here minding my business i get told you ain't shit you ain't gonna be shit you don't know shit and whatever shit that these people have to say to me and i realized i was looking at the very very same type of men wow jesus i just had a stroke um the very same type of men that would come to my comment section and tell me that i ain't shit it's fun for them to sit back and look at a guy that is shit and be like he ain't shit that motherfucker ain't shit because lebron is kind of a big fucking deal right but i'm gonna tell you guys these dudes were nothing to write home about right there's there's nothing nothing really going on there they don't look like they showered for a while like I, I get it i get it i don't always look that good either i got uh 
people are always mad at my beard. Look, I trimmed it up a little bit. It's just a redneck white trash beard. The fuck you want from me, right? I'm supposed to grow a perfect beard. I'm half fucking redneck. I disclosed this information years ago. And you guys get surprised when I grow in a patchy beard? I fucking warned you. I told you this shit was going to happen. But, you know, people come, come at me and go, shave that nasty beard off your face. New rule, motherfuckers, around here. You got a problem with my beard so much you want it shaved off my face? Come shave it off my face. <laughs> come do it yourself, all right? <laughs> How about that? Don't tell me what to do because I'm not going to do it. I got other shit going on. My beard sometimes is the last fucking thing I worry about. So it just, it is what it is. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm white trash. What do you want from me, man? I'm, oh, you gotta look good. Fuck. How do I overcome the redneck gene, my friends? I just cannot do it. It can't fucking be done, all right? <laughs> Fuck, man. Y'all think I got into trucking because I was real good looking? That's not how any of this happened. What was I saying, though? <laughs> what was I trying to say? Okay, yes. Here's what I was trying to say. It was really, really good perspective for me to see. It gave me a chance to actually witness the people that are telling other people that they're not shit. And it's not that I haven't seen it before. It's just a weird thing's happening around here right now. Um, the, the channel's growing, of course. Thank you guys, I appreciate you. Um, and this, for some reason, causes other men to just go crazy with fucking envy. And then they make this guy trucks hate videos. And then the 30 people that watch them fucking bombard my comment section over and over and over with multiple accounts. And it's just, oh, fucking Christ. What the hell did I do now? I'm, I'm, could you imagine? hating on me i'm just sitting over here like with my curtains closed like fucking chicken wing sauce all over my fingers playing playstation just living my best life what are we hating for i'm not really sure but anyways that um i, I don't know if i'm making sense it was an important thing for me to see all right and like i said I understand, like, talking shit about the sports figures or whatever. You have your sports team. It's almost tribal, right? But here's where I started to really see the true colors of these men and what, honestly, vile fucking people they were. The same people that run to my comment section to tell me I'm a piece of shit, right? Next thing out of one of the guy's mouths, he goes... Well, my soon-to-be whore of an ex-wife, which is a weird way to say that, my soon-to-be whore of an ex-wife. Um, it, maybe it would have been better if he said, my whore soon-to-be ex-wife, or my soon-to-be ex-wife that's a whore. I don't really know. But my soon-to-be whore ex-wife, I'm not sure that that's really the, the direction I would have went with that um, myself. But hey, we're not known for our clear speaking skills out here either but he started talking about his his whore of an ex-wife right when the other two guys oh boy did they have stories too about how women have just mistreated them and all they do is marry whores imagine being a woman hater in 2024 that's fucking wild and they're all sitting around having a circle jerk about how awful these women are and i don't want to like act like there's not awful women out there because people are people and really when it comes down to it people kind of fucking suck i'm not a huge fan if i'm being fucking honest with you that's one of the main reasons i am a truck driver every time i think oh maybe i'll get a job working with people then i think better of it i was about to say some wild shit right there and i changed my mind right at the last second um but i i think better of it and i decide you know what i actually do kind of like trucking but but women like, I mean, like I said, I understand some are like shitty people, but have you seen women? Bros, they're fucking hot. Oh my God, they're so sexy. And this isn't me like trying to score brownie points or trying to figure out if, if like some of my female subscribers will fuck me if I say nice things about women, because I already know some of them will. <laughs> so, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pushing all kinds of buttons in this video. I'm still just over here minding my business. What's all the, the hollering about? I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyways, um, I mean, women, aside from being just way, way sexier than us. Look, at, have you seen us? Holy shit. I wouldn't fuck us. That's for damn sure. We're gross. We're fucking disgusting. Um, but for some reason, a lot of women just seem to be attracted to us. And even some dudes. And that's cool but it's uh, it's bizarre i look at men and i'm like hey you know what that doesn't really do anything for me at all that dude looks like he smells awful but whatever um but i mean they're for the most part like 
reasonable, rational people that don't like say stupid things like us truckers do. You don't see a bunch of women, and I'm not saying there ain't some ghetto ass women out there. I'm not saying that, but you don't see a bunch of women running around the fucking YouTube truck and going, I'm going to whip your ass on Fuel Island, son. You know why? Because they got other shit to think about, not the dumb caveman shit that we think about. They're, they're the, the better, the better, uh, gender is that what i'm looking for i don't want to say anything that'll get me canceled after all the shit i already said in this video um but there 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 are better halves that's for damn sure and that's all i'm trying to say like i said i'm not trying to score points i fucking love women though god damn they're fine um anyways uh it was just so wild to see there's so many victims in trucking right they're all victims of the the women that are just abusing them and you never ever hear one of these guys not one time have i ever heard a bunch of truckers sitting around talking about the hooers the hooers the hooers right not one time does it ever come out of their mouth that i was a real asshole to her man and i should have done better but instead you know whatever it is that led up to that circumstance i chose trucking over uh my relationship which is a really real thing right i don't that's something I try to stay away from, like making fun of. Uh, trucking will kill your marriage. Uh, and not me, but it's, it happens to a lot of fucking people. And it's honestly not fucking funny. Um, I get it all the time. I, <laughs> what the hell was going on uh, just a couple days ago? My, my feelings were actually hurt, my friends. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? I was, I was sitting here. Seriously, I was just playing college football on my play, PlayStation, doing absolutely nothing when somebody lost their shit on me. I wasn't doing anything. I was just locked in my truck all by myself. Um, and they're like, I hope you fucking get fired from your job and your wife cheats on you and divorces you and your house burns down and you have to move in with your mom. And I'm like, wow, that's a strong fucking reaction from a video. Damn, you're a shitty person, but you know what? I don't wish that on you because being in a truck and dealing with personal issues like that is fucking hell. It's absolutely fucking miserable. I mean, I've been through my fair share of issues out here on the truck. You know, it's the worst. Oh my God, it's fucking terrible, right? But um, the fuck am I trying to say? I fucking forgot again, like I do sometimes. Um, <laughs> anyways, yeah, what I was saying was you never ever hear these guys say, well, it was my fault. I did a lot wrong because they don't want to learn and grow and they don't want to fucking do better. Oh, I see it all the time too. I know I'm relating this a lot to like my comments and what people say about me. I'm sorry, guys. People tell me not to, but this is actually like, I just tell stories about my life, right? And uh, YouTube is a lot of my life. I live in a truck. What, what do you want from me? The internet's all I got. God damn it. <laughs> but, um, fuck. Um, you know, I see it a lot though. Like, uh, people like, you lose their minds on me and they go and you fucking sh say these horrible things that I never said to them. And then they go, well, maybe you should change the way you act. What the fuck did you just say? You wished death on me and you hope I go bankrupt and my wife leaves me and all these things, but you need me to be better. I'm not fucking sure I'm following, but there's so many people going, well, maybe if this guy trucks could act right, maybe we fucking wouldn't say such horrible shit. You're the asshole in this situation. You've always been the asshole and you're the same guy sitting at a fucking bar calling your ex a whore because she got tired of your shit. Get your shit together. Do better. Figure out where you're doing things wrong and fucking figure it the fuck out. But everybody just wants to be angry instead and blame everyone else for their fucking problems. It's most likely your own damn fault. I don't get this shit. I don't understand it. And look, now I'm angry. Now I should be sitting right there with those truckers talking shit about other truckers or whatever it is we do. The cycle fucking continues, apparently, my friends. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm all sweaty now. Fucking fat boy. God damn it getting chubby just kidding i'm not um but if i were i'd be sweating even more i guess is the moral of that story but no it's just it's just so fucking wild there's just there's too much hate in trucking is like what i'm trying to say a lot of people think i'm a hater i'm fucking hilarious i'm just over here <laughs>
<laughs> I'm just over here talking shit. I'm fucking funny as shit, man. What are you talking about? I ain't a goddamn hater. I got shit going on in my life. I ain't got time to be a fucking hater. But it just, sometimes it gets to be like too fucking crazy. And then, of course, they sat there having a conversation about these goddamn rookie truckers and, and what they do wrong. And that motherfucker couldn't park. I had to get out and show him how to park that fucking truck and all this shit. And there's there's so much of that going on you guys have heard me rail against that for fucking years at this point it's like too many motherfuckers not minding their own business and telling everybody else what the fuck to do and i just don't understand why like i, I don't understand why people are still trying to tell me what to do have you learned your lesson yet i'm not listening to you I, i'm doing other shit okay and that doesn't mean because your advice was bad it means i just wasn't fucking interested at the time maybe you said some really profound amazing shit but i fucking wasn't paying attention <laughs> that's my own damn fault you now isn't it but people get real mad at me real mad at me i'm gonna end this video on a fucking bang my friends because why not why not go out in a blaze of glory today because i got something for you right here right but oh people come at me all the time screaming at me you never listen to anyone's advice you're goddamn right i don't i wouldn't be having any fun if i just played it safe and i did what everybody else told me to do and it, that's what life's all about, baby, having fun. I'm having a goddamn good time. Do you mind? Do you mind if I have a good time over here? Is that really too much trouble for you? But I get that a lot too. He needs to humble up and listen to what everyone else is telling him to do. Well, I'm not going to. I don't know what to tell you, right? But, um, oh, here, oh, here's the story that I'm going to tell you. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked, my friends. I'm nervous about the story, but we're going to do it anyways. So, Years ago, I had uh, met um, a married couple uh, through um, YouTube, right? And they were nice. There, there was nothing wrong with them. And uh, look, we'd, we'd uh, sometimes get into some crazy text messages. I'm not going to fucking lie to you. Fucking, hey, if I slide in some DMs and it's past 8 p.m., fucking all bets are off. I might be saying some crazy shit. And some of my subscribers actually know that. Your own damn fault. You added me on Snapchat. What the fuck did you think was going to happen? It's your fault. I blame you, right? But I got to know this couple and they were very nice. I And one day they just fucking didn't like me anymore. And that's okay, right? Um, I know... I don't really know specifically what happened back then. That's when I was really going through a lot of shit. This is a few years ago and boy, I drank a lot. Don't worry. I wasn't even a trucker then. I just sat at home drinking beer. That was my whole life, right? Um, but I, got me. I don't know what the fuck was going on most of the time then. If I'm being honest with you, it was not a happy time in my life. <laughs> but uh, I had woke up one morning. Uh, this was while I was trucking, though. I know the timeline gets a little screwy in my head, too. But I had... Um Actually, let me save that. That's not quite what we're ready for. Me and me and the husband, we had quite a few co phone conversations, different business ideas that we would discuss, things like that. Um, and then we had a falling out, apparently. Let's leave it at that, right? Um, but uh, just a couple weeks ago, his wife was in my comment section screaming at me that I never listened to his advice and it's my own damn fault that my life sucks. This guy trucks life sucks. My life doesn't suck. It's like, it's definitely got some bumps. Definitely does. It's not all fucking great out here, but sucks. No, not even close. My life does not suck. Um, but I was just like taken aback by it because she was so pissed that I wouldn't listen to her husband's advice and I had to do everything he told me to and and if I would have followed what he said I would be doing much better off right now well last I knew her husband was a dispatcher at a trucking company that's not the fucking advice I want to follow I listen to people that are doing better than me not, I'm and not that I'm talking down on a dispatcher in a trucking company but it's not exactly the career path that I'm fucking looking for why are you telling me that I have to do what you're husband does i don't fucking get it but she, oh she was livid you, you should listen to his advice at all times well he's lucky i didn't you want to know why he's lucky i didn't listen to the things he wanted me to do getting back to what i was talking about earlier i woke up one morning to them having drugged me into a group text i was fucking asleep and they had already discussed our threesome together and fucking wanted wanted to they were sitting there working out all the rules who's allowed to do what and i woke up looked at my my phone and I'm like what the fuck are you two doing I'm not even privy to what you guys are talking about I was asleep and you guys are talking about what we're all gonna do in the bedroom together and 
so if I would have followed all that guy's advice, I would have railed his fucking wife, which is fine. You know, if that's what you guys want to do, if you need to spice up your marriage, a little this guy trucks will get it done, baby. Absolutely. I will spice up a fucking marriage. You ain't got to ask twice, all right? I'll, I'll help you out. Don't fucking worry. But it was so bizarre. It's like, are you sure you guys wanted me to... Maybe, well, that might be what she was mad about. I don't know. But uh, is he sure that he wanted me to follow all of his advice? And I don't... I don't even know where our falling out was, if I'm being fucking honest with you. It was probably had something to do with the tension in their own fucking marriage and nothing to do with me at all. But as far as I understand, they're still very, very upset with me to this day over I didn't listen to all their advice. So I don't know. On the next episode of This Guy Trucks, when cucks attack and they're all pissed because I wouldn't bang their wives. I, I have the weirdest life, my friends. It's fucking strange out here. <laughs> oh, anyways, um... Yeah, I guess. I mean, I'll join if y'all, if that'll make y'all feel better. We can work it out. Um, bye now.